Hello, I'm a PX Cat and welcome back to Store Sunday. This is the Sometimes Witty series about my channel where I show Minecraft store content that is particularly interesting or worth checking out in some way. And today we'll be doing another live Store Sunday. This is a fun way of checking out a map for the first 20 or so minutes and seeing what it's really like. It's like a fun demo equivalent. And today we'll be looking at a map which is called uh, Obstacle Combo because the interesting thing about Obstacle Combo is it looks pretty fun. Looking at the map from all the screenshots, it looks like it is a lot of fun. It looks like it could be done in a really interesting way. However, the thing that really interests me about this is not just that it's an interesting look looking obstacle course is the fact that it says eight courses that are free to play and no they're not they cost 990 and the other thing is it says developed in collaboration with coach Jen Welter so I had to look up who Jen Welter was apparently she's an NFL player an NFL coach and most interestingly of all to me now a Minecraft map maker so that's quite the resume let's see what an NFL coach slash player can actually do for a Minecraft map so this is the map as you can see it looks uh, a bit different on the inside because there is a texture pack as well as a behavior pack which is going on with it so uh Mechanics Keeper, don't get any closer. Maybe this is part of the map, maybe I've gone into the wrong place, but it really seems like, <laughs> it really seems like I probably shouldn't be here. So, as you can see, everything is kind of listed around here. Is this the, the worst start to a map ever, or is this the cleverest start? Because it seems as though I might have, again, this was literally where I spawned, I spawned inside the mechanic, so let's try and get out of him. Okay, I'm 100% sure I shouldn't be here now, because there's kind of like signs here denoting this is the quarterback course. Maybe I should try restarting the map. We're gonna, we're gonna do that. Maybe uh, because the Minecraft spawn isn't a fixed area. Maybe I just got really unlucky and happened to spawn in a sea of command blocks that tell me not to get any closer to them. Odd. Very odd. Okay, I'm 100% sure this isn't how it's meant to be because the book doesn't reference anything to like, oh, you spawn in the, the void of command blocks. And the other thing that makes this me 100% sure is we have a button, we have this, and then we also have creative mode turned on by default. So really, although this is a exciting sounding map, this is really just a, a set of command blocks. Maybe they're in the spawn chunks deliberately and we're meant to get out there, but it doesn't give me any indication of what to do from here. Literally, I bought a map and they didn't even like check the map to see if it puts you in the right place. They, this map spawns you in the command blocks it's been out quite a few days now and I guess they just assumed no one would care maybe no one would ever check it out what was the assumption did they do they not check their own work is the Minecraft store content that team which again we're, we're, we're told that people are checking every map manually why did they not check this one but again let's try and actually find the regular map so that we can get out of here and work out how to actually play it because I still want to play the map even if it's deliberately broken and again most people would just be like well okay I guess I bought the wrong map and they've just blown five dollars on something that doesn't correctly work but let's find out where we're meant to go, maybe like die or something. I'm not even sure what to do here. Maybe this is the entire map. It's how to make an obstacle course, and that's the fun here. Oh, there we go. Look at that. Look at that. I did it. There was a button next to the map. We've done it. I have worked it out. Let's do this. So this is Coach Jen again, NFL player, NFL coach, and Minecraft map maker. And uh, give me some advice, I guess. Maybe I have to go into adventure mode. Yeah, you can clearly see where I'm meant to be in adventure mode, but then the map hasn't been correctly set up. I'm just saying, maybe could have done that or something. Well, I guess let's do this then, shall we? So let's do the high school course, and we're going to work through the four maps, or the eight maps, and then eventually, oh, that one doesn't work. <laughs> but yeah, let's do this. Let's play the high school course, and let's work through them, because uh, one of the courses, it says in the manual, is Coach Jen's course. So let's see what she made herself, or what, what she endorsed herself, at the very least, and see what's going on there. So high school course, let's do this. So the timer is whispering to me, which is a bit weird. You know, like, usually when you tell people the time is whispering, it's kind of weird stuff. But let's do this. Let's press start, and let's see if we can do this. Oh, that's some cool... Uh, again, that's a cool way to do the graphics, at least. So, yeah, this is, uh, again, this is the easiest of the courses. It should be fairly easy to work out. Again, you can see how they're using, like, clever Minecraft parkour techniques to, like, oh, yeah, we're teaching you how to do some basic stuff. And we're also getting power-ups. Um, so, yeah, I feel like this could be a really fun, like, thing to play friends, because, like, again, you can see where there's multiple courses of the same thing. Maybe it'd be fun to see, like, who can do it the fastest. Again, that's, like, a potential thing. Uh, but it's also just potentially just a fun parkour map for yourself. I love it when parkour does interesting stuff where it's, like, speed parkour because any minecraft parkour can either get really annoying or really easy it really doesn't for me at least it tends to be uh, nowhere in between whereas if you're trying to do it at speed you can do you know relatively easy parkour that's tricky to do with oh a decent amount of speed to it so again this right here for instance if you're trying to do this normally it's easy if you take a break at each one of these things it's easy but knowing when to sprint and when to stop sprinting that's half the fun and then you can get to the end of it and onto the next challenge and so on and so forth so yeah this is uh this is obstacle course the basic gameplay uh if you if you're looking for a map to play by yourself and have a great lot of fun with, it might not, oh, okay. It might not be necessarily the, oh, we gotta follow the arrows or you die. Ah, that's clever, you gotta go in between. You gotta do the slalom, if you will. Uh, then run towards the middle. Ah, there we go, look at this. So, yeah, you can see how there's a lot of different, oh. 
<laughs> you can see how there's a lot of different uh, mechanics kind of combining here to teach you a bit of parkour, but also to teach you to do stuff fast, which is, again, a super valuable skill to have. Should we go up there? Yeah, I guess that's what we're meant to do here, which is just climb along the ladders to the very top. Again, you... Oh, well, and do it correctly, I guess. Uh, but yeah, the, the basic idea of this map is to teach you a few Minecraft mechanics and teach you to do them fast and maybe compete with your friends, which I think is a fun idea at the very least. Okay, we beat a course. I am the course champ. As you can see, I get a trophy, which says coal still instead of trophy, but... Again, we'll assume something broke with the resource pack and a lot of other things. And I also get a little gold mark here to show I have done it. Although, there's one here. Uh, you know, whatever's going on there. We got a gold mark, we got a trophy. That's all that matters to me. Can we put the trophy somewhere, actually? Yeah, right here. There we go, look at that. I got a trophy. And then if I do all eight courses, I get these two. So, I guess let's do the eight courses. Next up, college course. As I know from my American vocabulary, college is harder than high school, or at least more advanced. Let's do it. The game is, uh, it, the, the course was, is all about parkour. Uh, I'm, I'm sure that's no surprise to anyone else. Like, uh, again, looking at the images, it's very clear this is meant to be a parkour-based thing. But what makes it more interesting is stuff like this, where they, t <laughs> they put in a whole brand new mechanic. In this case, that means floating helmets. And I think, again, that, that really adds to the layer of, uh, you know, playing this map with friends that could make it almost in the same way where, like, Grid Runners only has four maps, but they're all interesting, and they're all, you know, like, you can play with your friends over and over again, try and get the best time, try and beat yourself, and I think that's what makes that map so interesting and fun. Again, admittedly, that map is free, and this map is five dollars, um, but, you know, that was a one-off kind of, like, free event, whereas this is, uh, you know, something you can find in the store as a regular piece of content. Oh, I messed up there. See, when you're going at speed, you can make these mistakes that you, you know you made, but you're like, okay, now I know how not to do that in future, which is so, so handy. I think playing a map like this actually can give you like real, uh, you know, like skills to do stuff like, oh yeah, win PvP more because parkouring out of the way, knowing how to, you know, get someone off your tail is a genuinely valuable skill that people underrate in PvP. But in Minecraft PvP, at least on, uh, you know, Bedrock right now, when it comes to killing people, most of the job is spamming the right trigger, like spam, 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 spam. Oh, and it's done now. Um, whereas when it comes to actually, uh, you know, like, getting away from them, that's most of it, because if you are losing a fight and you can get away from the person, it doesn't matter. You didn't really lose, you just mostly lost. Uh, so yeah, try and win a fight, and then when things go badly, if you can run away better than the other person, if you know how to, like, parkour your way around the environment in ways that other people can't, then you'll do pretty well. And I think this map actually does teach you a, f a fair bit of that. So, next up, we got another slalom. Wasn't a particularly hard one. But yeah, this, this is, uh, you know, designed to replicate the courses. I Again, based on American movies, I believe you do um, in, you know, like, uh, you, in, in high school or whatever, when you're doing football, kind of teach you that stuff, right? I believe this is kind of replicating that. And it's a kind of fun replication. They're fairly short courses, but maybe that's good for playing with friends. Okay, next up, the pro course. I think these are actually, like, good enough parkour lessons. I think the, the texture pack is probably a bit wacky for my liking, but it might then be useful for some number of people as an additional pet texture pack. Again, one of the cool benefits of uh, buying a map like this, because, oh, we've got to listen to the sign. Don't step on the lamps. Ah, there we go. I can, I can totally do. Oh, okay, I see the issue here. Oh, okay, we, we got this. Oh, and you get six seconds on the clock for every, uh, or plus six seconds when we have a mess up. Oh, I've worked it out. The white blocks give you the power up. So, again, it's, it's a little bit more than just parkour. It's parkour with the balance of knowing, should I get the power up or should I just go to the end? In this case, I, oh, the power up's in a... <laughs> I got six seconds for going there, but I'm going to lose those six seconds as I get out of it. Also, a thing you might have noticed, again, a clever use for this is that the, uh, you know, the, the, the timer is your XP bar. So that's a clever way to kind of combine two things into one. But yeah, the, the great benefit of buying a map like, oh, it's the done step on the lamps, but it's even harder. Oh gosh, how am I, <laughs> how are you meant to escape these? This is kind of crazy, actually. Oh man, okay. This, these are the only blocks that are 100% safe. The, the white blocks, the only ones you can trust all the time. But um, you get a free texture pack alongside uh, the maps for a lot of these maps. And I think that does add to a little bit of the value. I think at $5, it's hard to say this is objectively worth $5. You know, it really comes down to what do you value, uh, and especially what you do have Minecraft maps. Like, most people don't buy Minecraft maps. Most people who do buy Minecraft maps obviously have you know, some form of, like, standard in their head, though. And if this, uh, you know, fits the standard, that's cool by itself. But one of the key things that I think provides benefit in a map like this, I am really struggling with this uh, parkour, is uh, the fact that you get a free texture pack alongside it. And it's a pretty interesting texture pack. I don't know if I'd say it's a good one, I don't know if, it's say, if I'd say that it's one I really love and I'm you know, really liking, uh, but it is one that has some really unique characteristics. Look at the ladders, look at the way uh, you know the command blocks were done earlier, look at some of these blocks right here. There's a lot of fun things to this texture pack that might help you know swing the value proposition. Oh look, there's a white block down there on this one, so you have to like fall down to get it. 
But yeah, the value proposition when it comes to, uh, you know, Minecraft maps, it's always going to be something you have to decide for yourself. I, don't, I think, uh, you know, there's no objective value, especially given that, like, you know, not too recently, all Minecraft maps were free in some way. They were just kind of tricky to download. Now it's like, oh yeah, there's a convenient service where you can spend a few bucks instead of, uh, you know, like, getting something for free. You can support the developer, you can do stuff like that. You really have to see it as, like, if you like a map and you want to support the developer, and you also want to get, you know, the, the value parts of things, you can do, oh, okay, so this is something tricky. You can do that, um, but you know it's it's not like necessarily. This is like a whole game's worth of value. You can buy an indie game, which is of course going to provide. I, oh, red probably goes out soon. Yeah, that's that's. I've worked out the system. Oh no, red is just consistent. I don't even know. Another slalom this time. Look at this. I'm so good at these. See, it, it really is designed to be like a coach uh, course to teach you to do stuff in Minecraft like you do in real life, or like you do in movies in real life. Because I don't go to an American school, not yet anyway. If you're an American school and would like a toy cat to go to you, then please let me know. This is actually tricky. You know, let's try and go up this. This, this. this this seems like a more fun thing to do instead. Okay, so you just climb against the edge like this, and then you walk. Ah, oh, look at that. That's kind of fun. See, there's multiple pathways for it. But, um, yeah, all of these... This map seems to provide, uh, you know, a decent amount of fun, a decent amount of potential multiplayer value. Uh, but it's obviously never going to be the same as an indie game. But I think... If you try to measure Minecraft maps against that, no Minecraft map can ever deliver. But yet, I think it's still important to talk about which Minecraft maps deliver the best, deliver the most, and which you might want to support. Because, again, uh, supporting, you know, a, a map making community is something I know a lot of people who do watch these videos do believe in. If, if, if uh, you know, it, although it's important to care about your own interests, it's also uh, you know, important to care about, uh, you know, like supporting the people who, you know, keep the community uh, going or whatever. And that's why a lot of people support map makers or support YouTubers or support whoever else. And I think that's just an important thing to remember when it comes to these sorts of maps as we go into the running back course, which totally looks like Sonic, right? I think this is actually a really good example of the thing I was just saying about, oh, it's, it, it literally is Sonic, like it's, it's designed that way. But you can see how like the uh, the texture pack value really is something here. You could totally make some great stuff yourself out of this. And the fact that you get a texture pack, which is you know, free to use, uh, works across all your platforms, uh, just after you buy this, does add another layer to that. And same with the resource pack. I doubt you'll use the resource pack for your own needs, but the fact that you have it anyway, it's, it's kind of fun. Also, the, <laughs> this is a really fun uh, map actually. Uh, again, it's, it's mixing things up, playing this with friends. You can see how that could uh, you know, be a competitive task between you and yeah I'm, I'm gonna rec I'm gonna say uh, so far uh, as a solo map I can't say I'd recommend it. I'd say if you really like it totally go for it and I would never want to stop you um, but I think you you really need to probably play this in multiplayer to get what you might refer to as value or you need to love the tech pack enough to want it anyway and to support the loop make it however if you're just like you know I want to have the best amount of fun I only have five dollars how do I do that I wouldn't say buying this map is the number one thing to do of course and I, I'm, I'm sure even the developers be like yeah you know if you have literally five dollars left you don't have to buy the map that's that's not all we're going for with this um and yeah i, I but i think uh, it's, it's a fun enough idea the fact that it's got a real nfl coach in it is or if there are only fake nfl coaches but you yeah, know that that counts for something at the very least right ah oh, this sucks so bad <laughs> um that might be a real selling point for some people. So we're going to try and get through the sea of husks or whatever these are. Again, they're, they're football players, but they're zombies. It's, it's, a, fun, it's a fun concept. And uh, get ourselves to the end. I think this is our fastest time yet, but it is a fast map, so I guess that makes sense. And uh, I've just realized we might not be able to do all eight maps because none of them are completed. So let's at least do these three and see what happens. This is like a game of Simon Says. You have to follow the blue sign every time. And... It's, it's tricky, okay? It's, oh no, we died, probably. No, we didn't, I'm, I'm good, it's good. But yeah, this is a really interesting uh, concept for a map, if nothing else. Um, however, I'm gonna have to say, uh, based on all the things I've seen so far, it's a really great concept that you, again, might potentially really wanna play with friends, but the biggest issue with it is the fact, that, oh, okay, so you can see the signs down there. The biggest issue is the fact that it just plain doesn't work correctly. I think uh, this might be an issue more than the marketplace team, more than the developers. Like, you know, when you develop maps, you're obviously gonna sometimes make up. Oh, there's blue through the red. Oh, that's what I'm gonna do. But obviously if you're a marketplace map maker, if you're anyone, you're gonna make mistakes sometimes. That's fine. You can't hate the developers for this, or you know, like I, I, as long as it's not a repeating thing. Um, but the fact that there's no proper map uh, you know, curation saying, oh yeah, if we want people to spend literally five of their own hard earned dollars or whatever on this map, we should make sure it's great. It doesn't seem like there's any of that uh, going on. It seems like you're not, uh, we're gonna make sure certain things, but if you can't guarantee a map literally functions when you load into it, as well as the other thing, which in my opinion is the fact that one of the courses doesn't work, because I just realized while I was playing this, like, oh, if that course doesn't work, then I literally, oh, this blue thing's getting harder. So yeah, I've got to always go blue, which is surprisingly hard. But if you literally cannot get your, um, 
you know, like the whole map to work, as in like I had to fly myself into it. And now if I want to get Coach Jen's exclusive thing, because again, let's say I'm a big fan of Coach Jen, which maybe some people are. I don't know how big of a deal Coach she is. But if you want to get, um, you know, like if, if you really want to like get that last map, you have to complete the last eight, except one of the last eight doesn't work for me. It says it's loading and it, I can't get over to it. So it's like, oh, I literally can't play not only one eighth of the map, but also the bonus courses. Three tenths of the map is not working. In addition to the fact that I had to swarm myself in, uh, which most people would just get confused at and say, oh, this map sucks and give up with it. And uh, yeah, when you're asking people's money, you have to put a higher barrier of proof onto it. If this was a free map, of course you could just say, oh yeah, it's fine. Uh, you know, like just download it later when it's fixed uh, or like we'll work out a fix for it, it's fine. But if you want to ask for money for a map, you better make sure it works. Oh, oh, it <laughs> hey, we did it. Our rent activated the map. But the fact that it wasn't working this entire time till just now, that says something. So the fact that the map loaded me in in the wrong place, that says something. The fact that Coach Jen won't you talk to me, even though that was a... a oh, she is talking. So, One second. Let me go through the obstacle course now. Let's see you run, jump, and get your best time. Let's do this. So there are actual uh, lines of dialogue performed by Coach Jen, it seems, which is interesting. So let's do a Coach Trivia short, uh, course and finish this up, shall we? Just to see what, what the... Oh, no, it's football trivia. I can't do that. How many points is a touchdown worth? Like, somewhere, it's more than one, even though, like, it should be, like, one point for everything, like, you know, good old uh, football system. It's probably, like, seven, but I, I don't know this. I can't do trivia, which means that, yeah, this map, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to make a few caveats for this. So, it's a really interesting concept for a map. The execution, or, or like, at least the, the way it's on the store place, isn't perfect for me. It took me, I had to complete five levels for this to unbreak. What if it doesn't unbreak for you? What if you didn't know that? What if you only want to play the wide receiver course first? Um, there's all these sorts of issues. So I would say, okay, there's like three categories of people. If you want to play this as a multiplayer map, it's probably gonna be fun. However, you need to know American football apparently, because there's a, I figured it'd just be like, oh, it's based on that. But there's a whole map about American football that you won't be able to complete and therefore get the extra hard parkour unless you know. So if you're American, if you feel like, you know, $5 to support, uh, you know, a cool looking map is something you're down with, that's kind of cool. And if you don't mind a little bit of bugginess, this is a great map. However, I think for most people, right now at least, this isn't something I can wholeheartedly recommend. I wouldn't be able to say, oh, this is amazing, this is uh, the best map ever, this is totally worth your $5. It's more, uh, if you think it's fun, you think parkour is a great thing, give it a check out. I would totally say you should. But there's a lot of caveats on that that I think you should know before you play. And this is why I think Minecraft Marketplace needs demos. So you can know, oh, I love this map. I want to pay for it. Or, oh, wow, I'm glad I didn't pay for that before you've already paid for it. Because if I wanted to get my 990 back, guess what? There's no way. It's gone. The $5 is, is in the oblivion now. And personally, I, I don't think it was too bad. But some people might be the opposite. And yeah, that's just an important thing. I want to clarify, as always, uh, please do... Uh, you know, put some demos on the store, or at least some trailers, or some way of knowing what a map is actually about. This one was pretty good with the store, but a lot of them aren't, and uh, yeah, I felt ripped off before, and hopefully it doesn't happen again. So, yeah, long story short, map is pretty good. Uh, not great, not amazing, but it's pretty good, and it's pretty fun. And with friends, I could see this being great. However, you need to be American to understand American football, which is key if you want to unlock the full potential of the map. Also, Coach Jen has some dialogue lines that, like, I mean, like, I don't even understand, like, exactly, uh, you know, like, you, you have to know American football to care what she's saying, I guess, or, like, to understand why she's a big deal, but she is apparently a big deal, a big NFL player, and that's interesting to me. So, with that said, I hope you did all enjoy this video, like if you liked it, share if you really liked it, subscribe when you're out here, turn on the notifications if you want to see more videos like this one every single day on your channel, as well as all the other fun projects that are coming up fairly soon, because I'll see you all next time. Goodbye.